Konnichiwa YouTubers, it's Restock straight from Point Magoo, California. And today we're going to do a video review of Fruitline Revoltech Poco from Sweet Dreams. I do not know what that anime is. <laughs> and sorry for that, uh, what do you call that dude? I forget. Who cares? Poco, Fruitline Revoltech, uh, sculpted by Enoki Tomohide. Sweet Dreams. If y'all can tell me what the heck that is. Sweet Dreams. I have no idea. It's the ELF. I, I like the figure. It's, let's see, I know I went on Google and I see a lot of cosplayers, so it's a, okay. And if I knew more Japanese, it does come with accessories, so. Didn't see the stand that I'm aware of. Well, now that I'm mentioning, I saw sword. I saw four pairs of hands, which are a pain to get out. Oh yeah. And, of course, probably should have not done it. Oh, and the stand. The stand is right there. Which is kind of neat. I don't know if we can focus on that. But it does say Pro Lion on it. It does have some writing on it. I'm not going to try to make it out, but there you go. I'm not going to set it up. Some figure stand. But the figure stands pretty well by itself. I'm quite surprised. Seeing as it seems like it's a first generation Pro Lion version 1.0. It does have its limitations, but I do like the detail. If anything, I like about this figure is the level of detail, including, if we focus, that little star right there. Purple star. That's pretty good. I love the eyes. You can see the green on it. Great level of detail. love the little goggles. Translucent. It's just wonderful amount of detail. I, I, it is growing on me. A little... Hair ties, the red hair ties, very nice. Just the uh, red on here, of course the corset or whatever the heck that is. I don't know what she's wearing, some kind of sash. I like the slat sash, the white bikini looking thing that she's wearing with a corset. The wings in the back, and I'll show you that. The purple, let's see, white here. Articulation's kind of weird. I like the red, fuchsia looking, whatever this is. The belt clips, wonderful. Wonderful looking details. Not bad, not bad. Uh, let's go ahead and show you with the articulation. The main thing is that this is version 1.0 and it had a lot of room to grow on. Oh yeah, as you can see I was trying to mimic that pose. So, uh, hey, yeah, pretty close. Alright, enough about that. The one thing is that, yeah, the shoulder will pop off. There is no doubt about that. That darn shoulder for both of them, I have just the most awful time with that. Maybe a little bit of nail polish will fix that, but that's okay. While I have the shoulder off, might as well show you. You can switch out the hands. The hands do have a little, ah oh man, it's painful. See, they do have the little revelt, real tech joint. And it's really simple. Make sure you hold on to it. There we go. It has this little sleeve which I absolutely dislike. For now, I'll take it off because, quite frankly, it upsets me. Okay. Man, it is painful to put these in. There is no doubt. There we go. Ugh. Yeah. It, remember, it does come with a little sleeve that goes on there, so make sure you put that back. I am not going to. It's a pain. And, of course, the joints are awful. Now, I love the sh articulation. It's pretty good. Yeah, that's actually pretty okay. I think the figure was released back in 07. If I'm correct about that, I'm not 100% sure. I'll take a look. Anyways, neck is on a ball joint. It does move up and down, good. Oh, I also like the wings, but the wings are so delicate. Oh my gosh, you can sneeze on this, it'll break. Very careful with these wings. Good, good detail. So I want to show you the wings in the backpack here. Good detail on the wings. Shoulder, as I mentioned, just pops off, so I'm going to be really, really careful. It does shrug and it moves up and down. It does have a bicep swivel, if you can tell. Single joint on the elbow, and of course the Revolt Tech joint, the ELF system. So it's on a ball joint and a swivel, or hinge, sorry. So, hand can swivel. Okay, no torso articulation, but you gotta dig the belly button. No torso crunch. 
let's see yeah it is kind of a bald joint on the hips so you can tell over there the thigh does swivel just a tad bit swivel on the mid portion of the thigh single joint on the knee but it could bend pretty well and it does have a little hinge on the foot for limited articulation but you really don't need the stand it stands up fine on its own and one thing is like I mentioned it comes with a sword and um, there's a detail on the sword not bad it has a 34 on it and extra four extra pairs of hands which let's see no sorry two pairs of hands so it's extra four hands so you got fists and open hands not bad and it is windy up here so there we go size comparison got here Megatron and one thing I do want to notice is she is pretty dang tall she is about six inches tall so it's bigger than most figures that you see in the Figma line which is about usually 13 and a half 14 centimeters about five and a half inches this one's uh, 15 six inch you know 15 mil or centimeters which is about six inches so you can see with Megatron here she is slightly taller so this is more on the six inch line they don't make them this big anymore so it's uh, as you can it's taller than usual it's actually starting to grow on me because the amount of detail is fantastic for a generation one figure I just wish they could do something more for their joints I'm going to give it about seven and a half out of ten I was going to be a little bit harsh on it but it's an older figure so it, it has room to improve that's all I got youtubers and I catch you all next time